yes. and, and very successfully. You were, amongst other things, one of the, the stars of The Voice. Yes, not star though. I <laughs> thought you were. I made it. I, I made it through the blinds, and then that was it. I... <laughs> I thought you should have gone a lot further the than you did. awkward silence is unnecessary, guys. It's funny for me. It's funny, it's funny, it's funny. It's funny. No, well, it's... I've, I've, I did, I've done so many reality... I don't know why I do it to myself. Reality programs are so nerve-wracking. And it's so... like You put yourself out there for all kinds of nonsense coming from people who are sitting at home watching. Let's have a look at the singing. This is why I think Tracy Lee Oliver should have won The Voice several times over. Come on, guys, I know one of you are going to turn it out. Like, just turn it out, David, just turn it out. And I saw Corin Zoid stand up. I just saw this blonde head stand up from up the seat. And I was just like, yes, thank you. That kind of made me a little emotional now because that was my father. My father was a huge Simon & Garfunkel fan. And that was his favorite song of theirs. And, um, yeah, he's no longer with us, but that was his favorite song. And I sang that song because I wanted to do that for him. Yeah. Oh, and you pulled it <laughs> off magnificently. Thank you. <laughs> and that was, uh, that was your mum who was... That was, was my mum and my sister. Did you guys see my mum's church dip? She was like, hey, <laughs> you know the church, you know church dip when you like catch the Holy Spirit? Hey! Like, you know the church dip? Yeah, that was my mum and my sister. They flew up and to come support me. And I mean, the people from The Voice, uh, oh, they were so great. They flew my mom and my sister up. They, they give the contestants' families, like, accommodation. And they are so amazing and such a positive show. And I'm really, really glad that I got a chance to sing to perform on that, sh on that show, yeah.